Tomorrow. Have a good night. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow and Monte Shabbos. Uh, Monte Shabbos, 630. Monte Shabbos, 630. Because I have to a little later. Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow, 345. Tomorrow, what time is this? bench is about 425, right? 423. Mm -hmm. 423, 423. 345? So, three, yeah, yeah, 340. It's a hard stuff tomorrow. Tomorrow's stuff is very hard. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so yesterday. Oh, what's the shot? 30, what? What did you say? Three, three, 340, 340. Oh, I meant to post. I meant to post. I I did I did some uh I did some art stuff today, Aaron. Oh yeah. No, oh, I'm gonna fancy art. Hold on, I'm posting it now. Trying. So what time did you say tomorrow? Three forty-five or three thirty? It was posted, Naftali. Three forty-five. I thought you said three thirty just now. That's what I'm asking. I'm sorry. Three forty-five. And that's Mishnayis or straight to the daf tomorrow? Naftali, log on uh, tomorrow. You'll find out whatever fancy. it is. <laughs> <laughs> no it questions depends, asked uh, on what, what we're doing. Yeah, I don't know. It depends how much we get done tonight. It depends on uh, um, Take how we start tomorrow. Take a shower this year. So you'll be yes, all that's ready. That's for sure. You're a regular Michelangelo. Look at you. Wow. Wow. Hey, look at that. You see that? With that. <laughs> that's my problem, the shower, right? Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know what uh, your problem is. We don't have any doctor psychiatrists on this year. So First of I all, we're recording. We're recording, so we shouldn't talk about his issues now. <laughs> Why? Well, Ellen wants to hear. <laughs> no, I Anyways, was going to say, okay. we, could, we could go back and check the tape afterwards. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Sorry enough, okay, so let's just, just look at the picture that I posted for a minute. Look at the picture I posted for a minute. See, it says in Pasuk Ches. It's a, it's a Perek Chafes Pasuk Ches in Shemais, in Pashas Mishpatim. See, I made the, the green is a Klal, and the red is a Prat, and the green is a Klal. Meaning why? Because the Klal includes everything. Then the red stops it, right? And then the green will tell you, will include again. So I'll call Bar Pesha. But just like er, just like everybody on the show, I put I, it on the officer, chat. Officer, oh, I never sorry. saw the red. I never, you saw, never the saw the red. red. Correct. Yeah, I, I I don't know how to post. I could probably post it on the. There's a way to post on the Zoom. No. Yeah, you need a screen share. I think you the, the screen. Screen. Yeah. Yeah. post it on that yeah. screen behind you. It just says Shark Tank. Put it over there. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Should I just move over? I'm just gonna give you entertainment. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how to do that. Okay, Shine. Either way, if you look at the, if you look at it, it says it says the Akol Devar Pesha. With, cloud, with short right? time, maybe you're gonna get an investor into the Shia. Wait, hold on. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> I'm in an airport in case anybody didn't figure. Okay, so Akol Devar Pesha. Where are you saying? Right? It to? I'm just. I just put the picture in the. I just put the picture on the chat. Of what the cloud and product cloud is. Jack, I, I, don't, I don't want to knock your art, but if you want to have it a little bit easier to read once, if you want. That's okay. I didn't I don't have access to it. If everybody can look at whichever ones they want. I'm what not are you offended. saying the Pasuk now? What are you saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it says I'll call Dvar Pesha. It says on anything that you did wrong, I'll show I'll show I'll come or I'll say I'll some. Right. So that's a specific. I mean, this is talking about where the guy has to swear. A shimer swears that he didn't that he didn't do anything with the thing. So it says he swears. I'll call the pesha, and then it says I'll shor chambor se salma. Right, three types of animals and salma's clothing, and then it says I'll call aveda on anything that got lost. So that's a klal, and then a prat, and then a klal. Right, so that's that's one. Um, the other thing we'll get to we'll get to later. So anyway, so that's what the the Gemara says is the klalu prado klal. So the Gemara says so maybe the prat the middle is shar chamor. So we think maybe those things all can become if you if you carry those the the carcasses of those animals or you carry them or you touch them, then you become tummy. So maybe only things that could become tummy. So then the Gemara says well. Um, it says salma, which is clothing. That that you don't become tummy. So we said that we 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 split up each one of those pratim. Meaning, al shar, 
Amar, Se, and Salma, meaning they're not all comparable to each other. You chop up each one. Right? So then the Gemara says, okay, if that's the case, then why do you need three? That's what we're up to now. We're on the on Samach Gimel Amid Aleph, second line down, in Cain. Right? Then why do you need three types of animals? Or, or four types of Pratim? Just say one Prat. And again, normally the the rule with Klal or Prat or Klal is if you have a rule, and then a specific, and then a rule again, then all you do is get the, all you do is you broaden the Prat. Anything compared to the Prat. Right? So Kisagamara says, okay, why don't we need four Pratim? In Cain, Nechtevron Rachmana Chad Prata. Let the Torah just write one Prat. Which one should the Torah write? If the Torah would just write Shor, what's the rule? What do you get out of a A rule, and the then is a specific, then anything similar right. to that specific one, that's it. Anything, anything comparable to that specific gets included. Right? What about anything compatible to the rule? To the, to the claw. No, no, to only to the prat. Only, thing compatible only to, the, to, the, prat. to the prat. Correct. Okay. Right? So anything compatible to that's what so the Gemara is asking. Animals, hey, in this case. That's right. So the Gemara is asking. So why do you need to write three animals? Why do you have to write Shor, Hamar, and Seth? Right? Okay. So that's what the Gemara says. Well, which one do you want to write? Because of Rahman Shor, if you're just going to write Shor, have a mean a carb legamis bear in a Shor, you can bring as a carbon. She ain't carb legamis bear light. But if you don't bring it on the Mizbeah, that you can't do. Then you then you then you're not gonna be chayev for if you lie about it. Because of Rahman Khamar, and if it would just say Khamar, have a mean a Kadush Bukhaira in, right? A Khamar has Bukhar, right? Pidyan Petar Khamar. Even though it's not a kosher animal, it has it has it's the only one that has a pidyon. She ain't Kadush Bukhaira loy. But any animal that doesn't become Kadush with a Bukhar, which means birds, which would exclude birds. Then, if a guy lies about that he that he stole somebody's bird, that he was supposed to watch the bird, and he and it got stolen, or whatever it is that he said it claimed that happened, so he wouldn't be high for that. So now, so which one are you going to say? So when it says Amri, so they said Good. So, so you don't one animal doesn't suffice. So write Shar and Chamor. Sell Why do you need to write sheep? It must be that it's coming to include birds. So then the Gemara asks, but maybe it's only coming to include birds that are tar. Right now, birds have how a unique toma. You... How would adding what? set teach me about? How would adding set teach me about? Oh. Um, because because se becomes tummy and it doesn't have it doesn't have the other things. So Mamela, a sits a set could become tummy, the carcass of a set could become tummy, so therefore would only include birds that could become tummy. Right? Meaning birds have a unique tumor that when you swallow it, when you swallow the bird, that's when you become tummy. You can carry the bird, you don't that you don't become tummy. You swallow it, you become tummy, and your clothing becomes tummy. Right? So maybe so why couldn't it say oif instead of se? Or could it? Why couldn't it say oif? I don't know. I don't know. That's a problem that's very hard with these Gemaras. I mean, these Gemaras are very hard anyways. But they're very hard to understand like why they decided to say pick which words and which drush is very hard to understand. There's so anyways, a so they... People normally have Shire Khamer Sam Sama. These are things that normal people normally normal. Yeah, people so that's know. gonna there's gonna be somebody that's gonna say something like that. I don't know when I don't remember now what it's Nagaya to. But with all these words, so because this is the next, thank, this is the next three blocks. Gotta thank Gershon for calling me normal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So then, maybe it's coming to you. If you, you, if you had one eighteen hundred years ago, yeah. <laughs> at least it was normal at some point, right? Okay. So maybe it's coming to Maybe it's coming to include. The birds that are tar, do me the sense, similar to said, the time of a god on a base of Leah. It becomes it makes clothing tummy when it gets swallowed, right? Only when it gets swallowed. Aval Ifus Tameyim, the less blue tumor, but tummy birds, meaning non-kosher birds, don't have this tumor. The lime time of a godam, a base of Leah. So then lie, those would not be included in this whole memory. 
So Gemara answers, Kol Ribu Yehu. Kol is coming to include, meaning um, Al Kol, Devar Pesha, the word Kol is coming to include everything. Right? So now, now we have a problem, because is Kol coming to include, or is Kol coming to tell you a Kalal? Right? Because we just said Al Kol, Devar Pesha is a Kalal. Right? And then there's a Prat that, that limits the rule. Right? And because there's a Kalal after that. Now we're saying that that Kol is coming to include. So the Gemara asks, the Chol Hecha, the Kos of Kol, this Gemara we had a few lot ago, the Chol Hecha, the Kos of Kol, Ribuyu, is it true that any time it says the word Kol, it's a Ribuyu, if I got me Meiser, you see Kol, by Meiser, right, Meiser Shani, you're supposed to eat, you're supposed to take your fruits up to Yerushalayim, and if you can't, so you take the money and you swap it out, and then you, you meaning you take the fruit, put it on the money, then bring the money up to, or it's just to Yerushalayim, and you eat it. So Vagavi Maisa to Siv Kol because the Shinam Le Bichlalu Prat. There we dash in Klalu Prat. The Tani Vinasata Kesef Bichol Asher Tavan Asher. Then you could take your money and bring it to Yerushalayim and buy anything that your heart desires. That's a Klal. But Bakar Vatsayin of Ayayin. But then the Pasuk says with cattle and sign and uh, uh, sheep and Yayin Uba Shecher and beer. Prat, that's a Prat. Uba Chol Asher Kesholchan of Shecha. Chazer of Klal. Right? That tells you that. Klalu prado klal yata don elakena prat. That's it's the only only you can only buy things that are similar to the prat, which is what ma prat before is pre mikri ugudule karka. It has fruit and it can create fruit, and it's gudule karka, meaning animals we said are considered that they have fruit uh, because they have children, and then fruits have fruits. So af kol pre mikri pre ugudule karka. Oh, anything that grows from the ground or anything that can have a pre from a pre, like animals and stuff like that. When, what does it exclude? It excludes water, salt, and 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 pitrius, the truffles and mushrooms, right? Those things all don't go part of this. And maybe you could say nowadays, maybe even, uh, what's it called? Uh, how do they grow those vegetables now? Uh, hydroponics. Hydroponics. Right? Hydroponics, the big Shiloh. The OU's been emailing about this in their daily email, right? Right. So, okay. Okay. So, I've called pre, me pre, we can do like carpet. So, all, so, any type of pre is and can do like carpet. So, I'm re- so, so, anyway, so you see that call is inclusive. They just said that my flight's taking off early, so I got to get moving. Amri Bachol, Klolo. The word Bachol is a rule. Call Ribuyu, meaning when it says Bachol, that it, that's Klolo Prado Klolo. When it just says Kol, that's a Ribuyu. Ribuyu is Ema. Call Klaluhu. The word call is a klal. Miu call uh miu call the hacha ribuyahu. The call I hear is coming to include Mihti. Why Ksime Kara Klalu Prado Klau? Tirsiv Kiyitin ish areo kla um if you look at my if you look now at the what I posted, um it says Kiyitain if on the the first picture I posted. Or look at whatever Aaron posted. It says Kiyiten Ish Ariyeu. That's blue. I did it blue with that one. Kesef, like that's a cloud. When a person gives anything to his friend, that's a cloud. Kesef a Kalim, silver or utensil, that's a prat. And then Lishmar is another cloud. Right? So Kiyiten Ish Ariyeu, cloud. Kesef a Kalim prat. Lishmar, harder of a cloud. Right? So it's a cloud, proud of a cloud. And it's going basically in the next parsha, but the same Indian. It's coming for any klalu prat. Why didn't we say that prat that prat by the other klalu prat? Meaning, why do we need two klalu prats right next to each other? Al called bar pesha Why do you need al called bar pesha? Right. Meaning, we don't need two klalu prats or klals. Just have one. Shmami not ribuyu, so therefore it must be that this one is not meant to be darshan as a klal of prada klal. It's meant to be darshan as a ribuy to include everything. Okay, so then there's obvious question, that's right? Pretty weak, that's pretty specific. weak. That's pretty weak. Uh, yeah, it could be. <laughs> it could be. It could be. If I even understand what it's saying, I'm happy. Okay. Fine. Okay. Because, <laughs> but the next. I didn't say question, understand very... it, Shiako. I did not make that claim. <laughs> Okay, good, because you make me sad if you did. No, I would be very happy for you if you knew it. But the Gomorrah's cash is obvious. If we're saying that call is a ribuy, so then why do I need all these protein that it includes a shor, chamor, stab? What I mean, you just said call includes everything. That if a guy lies about what he was watching, it includes everything. 
the hashda the shmami no ribu use. The Gemara says hashda the call ribu, call hani prati lemali. What do you need all these pratim for? My answer is chad lemute karka, chad lemute avodim, chad lemute shtaris. One is coming to exclude karka that you do not, you don't pay kefil for karka. Again, that's what we're talking about here. That you have to pay kefil if you lied or you stole. So karka. If you stole karka and you return it, or you, I mean, and you get caught and you have to give it back, you don't pay double. When you steal a slave, you cannot pay back double. You don't pay back double. The one is coming to exclude shtaris. That the uh, documents, if you steal somebody's document, which is and worthless, so it's only what's written in the document. Salma, lamute, davar, shayna, masuyim. It's coming to include, exclude, I'm sorry, something that doesn't have anything. There's the machlekes Rashi Taisus. Rashi says it doesn't have anything that, uh, how do you call it, identifying marks, right? Um, meaning it's something that you can't tell whose it is. Titus has a, a little different shot. Okay. Akola Veda. And when it says the cloud of Akola Veda, look at the Rapiya Bar Abba. Dom Rapiya Bar Abba. Dom Rapiya Bar Abba. Dom Rapiya Bar Abba. If somebody tines that a thing was stolen, meaning you have a shaymer who's supposed to be watching things, right? And he claims that it was stolen. Right, the, the guy comes back and says, "Hey, where's the thing that I gave you to watch?" And the guy says, "Oh, it was stolen." Right, so that's Tain Tainas Gana. It's going to come up a lot for the next stuff. Right, Anton Benveis now. Baveda. Let's say a guy, he was, he was, he found a, an Aveda. Right, we had this couple of blood ago. He found an Aveda, and then he lost it. But instead of, instead he lied and said it got stolen, and then he gets caught. So then Mishalim Tashul make Kefo. He pays Kefo. Should never I'll call Aveda. I'll show you I'm that's what the rule of Akol Aveda is. Any Aveda, it's coming to include that you pay Tashul Mikhefu even if you said it got stolen. All right, so it's not awesome. They learned in a mission over there. Eichen Piktaini, right? If a guy comes to him and says, Where's my Pikadim? Amalei Ovid. So he says, I lost it. Meaning the Shaiman says he lost it. Mashpia, honey. So he says, Mashpia, I want you to swear. Swear that it got lost. Amar Amen, he says, yes, meaning Amen, that it's that it got lost. And then Adam come along and they say, no, the guy ate it. The Shoimer ate it. So he's a liar. So what happens? Mashalim is a Karen. He only pays the Karen. Why? Because there's no Kefal for this. But if he was Moida on his own, then Mashalim Karen, then he has to pay Karen. Because he lied. Right? So then you have to pay when somebody lies and makes a shvur, I'm sorry, he makes a shvur and he lied, so he pays Karen and he has to pay a fifth more and he has to have a carbon ashram. Right? So, but again, if he, if Adam come and disprove him, meaning he only pays the carbon ash, he only pays the fifth and a carbon ashram if he admits that he swore falsely. If he gets proven by Adam that he swore falsely, he doesn't pay the Karen. And then it's, that's case number one. Hechel picked Tiny, and then they got him. Where's the record? And Amr Loi Nignav. He said it got stolen. Mashpia Chani. So he says, swear to me. Va'amar Amen. And he says Amen. Now this one again. This is talking about where it got. He, he claimed it got stolen. In the first case, he claimed it got lost. So here it's got stolen. Va'edim Eidim Nois They should go and ruin the Eidim. Pay Eidus that he stole it. So Mashalim Tashlumi Kefil. He has to pay double. Hoide Meyatli. But let's say he was married on his own. Then Mashalim Karen Bechaymish Va'asham he pays Karen Bechaymish and Asham, but he's not paying Kefil, right? Because it's a Knas. And Ma'ida Knas is Potter. Okay, so those are the two cases. That the, the differences between if the guy the Shimer claims that it got lost or that it got stolen. What so now the Gemara gives a Chazor uh, Petani Mia. We learned, however, the Petayin Tainas Gana when a guy Tainas that something got stolen. The Mishalim Tushum Ekefel that he has to pay Kefel Al Vatayin Tainas Kavad, but if he Tainas that it only got lost, Loy Mishalim Tushum Ekefel he doesn't pay Kefel. But Filu Tayin Tainas Gana, and even if he says that it got stolen, but Shvuah who the Mishalim Tushum Ekefel, he only pays Kefel if he made a Shvuah. Al Vashaloy B'Shvuah, but if he didn't have a Shvuah, ain't the Mishalim Tushum Ekefel he does not pay Kefel, right? So again, so there's a lot of there's a lot of information here. We're saying that a guy who a shaymer who tines that it got stolen pays kefo. But if he tines that it got lost and he got caught by both cases, he does not pay kefo. And even batoy tines ganav, he only pays kefo if he actually swore that it got stolen. If he didn't swear, then he doesn't then he get stolen. Okay, then he then he doesn't have to pay kefo. Okay, so mino anemi, how do you know this? The toner rabbanon, the yimotei ganav. It's the pasuk says, if the ganav was found. Right. Oh, I meant to take a picture of this, and I don't have. Basically, the pasuk says very simple. The pasuk says, 
When a man gives his friend silver or utensil, lishmon, and he wants to watch it, it gets stolen. If the ganav is found, he has to pay two. The next pasuk is in in ganav. If it didn't, if he doesn't find the ganav, the nikkur of balabayas elulikim, right? So there's two psukim. If you matze a ganav, he pays kefal. If he doesn't, if they don't find the ganav, right, and he swore, and then uh, then he doesn't, right. So what do you need two psukim? So now here we're gonna have a machlokes. It says if you matze a ganav, that's referring to betayin tainus ganav, where he tainus ganav. Akasim medaba. That's what the pasuk is talking about. When it says if you matze a ganav, it's not talking about actual stealing. It's talking about a guy who lied and said it got stolen. So what it says, is, is those, are those three words in Yimotzei Aganav referring to the guy saying that it was stolen? Or is it only with the Ganav himself, meaning a real stealing? Is it a real classic stealing? Or is it a guy lying that it was stolen? So when the Pusik, in the next Pusik says if the Ganav is not found, that's the Tayyan Tainas Ganav, of course, in the Dara. That's talking about the Tayyan Tainas Ganav. So Mamela, if the second one is talking about Tayyan Tainas Ganav, the first one is talking about actual Ganav. Anida, we have a different price. Huh? In Yimotei HaGanav, it says if the Ganav will be found, but Ganav Atzmai, because of the Dharma, it's talking about the standard stealing. Atzmai, but Ganav Atzmai, I am not a Tayyan Tainas Ganav. So the Shukri Aymer, in Yimotei HaGanav, are a Tayyan Tainas Ganav. When it says in the second Pasuk, if the Ganav is not found, that's referring to not an actual Ganav, but a guy who says he's a Ganav, Emor, that's what it's talking about. So what is Im Yimatzei Ganav telling you? Ganav Atzmei, of course, it's talking about Ganav Atzmei. So that's the Machlaikis. Again, the, the Im Yimatzei Ganav in one Pasuk and Im Lo Yimatzei Ganav in another Pasuk. According to all Shikas, the Im Lo Yimatzei Ganav is talking about where he was not, where he was Tayan Tainas Ganav. The Machlaikis is if the first Pasuk, it says Im Yimatzei Ganav, if that's talking about also Tayan Tainas Ganav, or Regular Geneva, right? So there's an obvious question. If according to the sheet that it says they're both talking about Tayyan Tainas Ganav, why do I need two psukim to tell you about Tayyan Tainas Ganav? It makes sense the other sheet. One case is talking about a regular Ganav, and the other case is talking about where the guy lied and said that it was stolen. Okay, so the Gemara says, the Kuli Amamias, in La Yimata Ganav, the Tayyan Tainas Ganav Ksid. The Im La Yimata Ganav is referring to a guy who just said that it got stolen. My mashma, how does he know that? So my rabbi in lo yimotzei kamosha amar. If he did, if he was not found like he said, elashu atzmai ganu. He himself stole it. Yishalim shnayim. Then he has to pay kefir. Uminala on the b'shvua. And how do you know that it's he only pays kefir with a shvua? The tiny b'nikar balabayas elohim kim. The balabayas brought him to the judges. Elohim really the shvua. He, that means for a shvur, I tell him the shvur and el ledin. It means for a shvur or, or even for a din. Namar shlichus yad lamato. It says sending out your hand, meaning using something that you were supposed to watch. And namar shlichus yad lamala. And it says, and the other pasuk about shlichus yad mala on the shvur. Just like over there, it's a shvur. Ab kam the shvur, so so to here is a shvur. So now, okay, so now, now we're going to have rapid fire back and forth. So again, we have one sheet that says that im yimotze hagana is referring to. Tayin Tanis Ganav, and so is the second one in the in Lo Yimotze Ganav, and then the other sheet that says in Yimotze Ganav is referring to regular stealing, and in Lo Yimotze Ganav is, is talking about Tayin Tanis Ganav. So I'm going to ask Bishlam the Man Dama Chad the Ganav. It's on. We understand that the sheet that it says one is a Ganav, a Chad the Tayin Tanis Ganav, and it is to be Trey Kray. That's why it says two psukim because it's talking about two different stories. One is an actual crook, and one is saying that it's a crook. El Man Dama Tavai but Tayin Tanis Ganav, but the Koranic Man Dama says that they're both Tayin Ganav Ganav. Trey Kroy Lamali, what do you need to psukin? So more answers, Amri Khadlam Ute Tainas Ovad. One is coming to exclude Tainas Ovad. If he tainas that it got lost. And the Mandam says that one is talking about an actual Ghana. One is talking about what he said is a Ghana the Lobi Yasa that there's uh there's no extra puzzle because you need one for each case. Lamute Tainas Ovad Minala. How do you know? That if a guy claims that it got lost and didn't claim it got stolen, how do you know? Me ganav aganav. We know it from the from the because it says ganav aganav, the extra hey. So that's how you know that if a guy lies about it getting lost, so then he is he is going to be chayv kefa. Okay, ulamanda matavayu b'toyin tainas ganav. The one that says that both psukim are referring to toyin tainas ganav, the miyat le toyin tainas avad. 
then it's coming to exclude the guy who lies about it getting lost. So what does he do with the hay? Which we had in yesterday's doubt. The the um Amar Rabbi Yechon, Adam Rabbi Yechon, Bar Rabbi, Amar Rabbi Yechon, Tanya Tanya is Ganav by Fikadon. If somebody Tanya is that is a Ganav by Fikadon, the Shem to show me Kepel, he pays double. Tavachu Machar, and if he if he shechts it or he sells it, then Meshalam to show me Arba Chamisha, he pays four or five. No, he pays four or. Hold on one second. Um. Um, okay. So the man Omar had the Ganav, the Chad, the Tain Tain is Ganav, right? According to Man Omar that says that one is talking about a Ganav and one is talking about Tain Tain is Ganav, the high Ganav, Ha Ganav, Afkilamute Tainus Abad, and the word Ha Ganav is coming to exclude Tainus Abad. But Rabbi Barav, how do you know, how do we know Rabbi Barav is then? So the Gemara says, "Am Allah the Kesha who ain't a shiv and Allah Kesha." It's a hekish, and we don't ask anything on a hekish. Bishlam is something the Gemara asks. Bishlam is man domer chad beganav chad betoyin. And is ganav shafer. It's good according to the Gemara. It says one is talking about ganav, and one is talking about toyin. And is ganav. It's good. But the man domer tavai betoyin. And is ganav. But according to the Gemara, it says it's toyin. And is ganav. Ganav atzma mi nolim. How do you know the actual Ghana pays K from? Now this is gonna this is gonna take us for a long time. Meaning, where do you know the pasuk that a Ghana pays pays uh, K from? Right? Because we're saying that both Sukkim are talking about Tayin Tainas Ghana. Now the, the question is the pasuk says beferish. The pasuk says beferish that he's pay K from. There's lots of Sukkim like that. What what it asks? I mean, how do you know that he pays K from on every last thing? Right, meaning on everything in the world that he lies about. So again, Bishlam the man domer chad beganav the chad betoyin tainus ganav shapes, and then we know that el the man domer tavar betoyin tainus ganav. But according to the man domer, it says betoyin tainus ganav ganav atum minolei. How do you know? The chit tema leisi bekavachayim betoyin tainus ganav. Then you can say learn from a kavachayim or betoyin tainus ganav. He didn't steal; he just claims it got stolen. You pay kefal. So a regular Lugana for sure. though, but you can't do that because you have Dayo. Right? Malalam Bashvur, just like there you only pay Kepa with the Shvur. You got a tiny tiny Nasgana. So maybe by right, actual Gneva also. So Nafkalaim is the Tana de Vechistia. We learn now from what Chistia said, the Tana de Vechistia. Yaimar Shar u Gneva. It says the Pasuk Shar and Gneva. The word Shar and Gneva means Shar and anything so on. Everything is included. So the Gemara says, "Ilu kach." If that's true, that everything is included, he used to have a ma'ah prat mefurish karav legam mizbeach. Just like the prat is mefurish, that it has to be on the mizbeach. It can be brought on the mizbeach. That's sure. I've called karav legam mizbeach. It's the only things that are brought on the mizbeach. My Yeshachal Lahavi said. So what do you need to say in that pasuk? On top of Aleph, so because you ever say when it says say harei say amar, it's referring to it says say, which which is another one that's that's brought on the mizbeach, right? Amani Makaim Geneva. So then what's Geneva? The Rabbis called over is coming to include everything. Okay, Yoima Shar Se Geneva Vakov. So why don't you just say Shar Se and 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 Geneva and everything's included? So then we're answered, Ilu Kaha Yisi Aima, Ma Prama Furish Dovers a Kodish Bibhira. Maybe it's only things that become Bakhar. I've called over a Kodish Bukhira. My Yeshu Khalhabi Khamar. What are you gonna do with Khamar? Because Shuama Khamar or Khamar Emmer means Khamar, Hamani Makam Geneva. The rab is called Dover. It comes to include everything. So the Gemara says, okay, then Yomer Shor Chamor Se Ugneva Vakol Bechla. Why don't you say Shor Chamor Se Ugneva and everything is included? The Gemara says, Ilu Kach. If you're going to say that, you say Ma Prat Mefurish Bali Chaim, then you would say that the Prat is including Bali Chaim. I've called Bali Chaim. So to all Bali Chaim, my Yisrael Lovi Shor Bali Chaim. Where are you getting all other animals? So I'm Chaim. When it says Chaim, Arei Chaim Emer means all animals. Hamani Mekayim, Hamani Mekayim, Geneva, the rabbi is called Dover. So Geneva is coming to include everything. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I got I to gotta go now. All right. I'm sorry for rushing. Have a safe Thank trip. You. Have a safe Thank you. Say to tell him to me. Say to tell him. Say to tell him. Yeah, thank you. For Baron, let's go that M.